So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the best budget microphones for YouTube, budget video lighting tips, and the best camera for under $150. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do video lighting and audio tips and Q&A videos just like this one. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Let's jump into the questions. Anna asks, the internal microphone on my camera is not the best and I don't have a lot of money. Is there any mic under $50 worth buying? Thanks so much for the question, Anna. Yes. So the first thing to consider is the application of the microphone. And so there's probably two that you wanna check out. Shotgun microphones are great, but only if you have a wide enough lens that lets you get close enough to the camera. So for instance, right now you're hearing a shotgun mic, but it's actually on a boom pole because I'm about four to five feet away from the camera. In fact, check it out. And so as you can see kind of behind the scenes, we were shooting with a 24 millimeter lens that had that first shot, but because I'm a ways away from the camera, I'm using a boom pole. And this is actually the Rode Pro boom pole kit. I'll link everything I talk about in this video in the YouTube description below so you can check out the exact model numbers. And so as we talk about these budget mics, consider the application. So the first mic we wanna talk about is a lapel mic. Okay, so the first mic that I would recommend is the Boya BYM1. And this is a great cheap lapel mic, right about $20, and you're hearing it right now. Not only is it plugged into our DSLR here, this is a Canon 70D, but it also has a couple settings on it so that it's, it's, it's set up to work with your smartphone as well. So if you ever wanna do like Facebook Live or record video on a smartphone, you could use it for that as well. And what's awesome is you get a really long cord. And so what's super cool is I could be all the way back here and obviously the lighting and everything's not quite set up, but the cable is reaching this far. So depending on no matter how long your lens is or whatever, you could do very practical shoots with this lapel mic. And so this Boya mic is super affordable. And then like I said, you can switch it to your camera mode or it does have smartphone mode and it has the right plug to work in your smartphone. So you could start using it for other applications as well. The next mic that I'd recommend for under $50 is the Tackstar SGC 598. I know a few different people that use this particular shotgun mic and it is amazing. It's really on par with the Rode VideoMic Pro and it's only $28 USD. So we'll post a link in the description below so you can check out more details about it. But the thing to remember is that if you're using a shotgun mic and you're gonna be far away from the camera based on what lenses you have, you might use a boom pole setup like this and we'll link up like what exactly you could use. You could get that at Guitar Center or you could order those on online and use that with the tax star or you wanna be closer to the mic. And so on some of the other Think Media TV episodes like this. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, help you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, in those particular cases, we're shooting with such a wide lens and I'm so much closer to the camera that I can be a lot closer to the shotgun microphone. And so between that lapel mic and that shotgun microphone, you might wanna grab both and then you have versatility for whatever shooting application you're doing. And Joshi asks, what camera should I buy for $150 USD? Thanks so much for the question, Joshi. Here are a few recommendations. The first is you could check out a Yi action camera. And so this is a super cool camera. You can actually get it with this kind of selfie stick kit. The selfie stick is the bomb, super well built. And this action camera is $99. I think about 130 for the action camera and the kit itself. And so uh, check that out. It's something that you could start vlogging with, start creating kind of more action camera style videos with. And so I'll link up some more details about the Yi in the description below. They're coming out with a 4K version that's about to be released soon, also super affordable. And then the other one is a Canon ELF camera. Now this is the Canon 110 HS, a little bit older and there are some new ones, but the reasons I like this camera is because it has good image stabilization for video. It does shoot 1080p, but at only 24 frames per second, but that's good enough. I've vlogged with this for years. And you can always find these uh, ELF cameras used on Amazon. If you look at the different color options, a lot of times you could find them for $80, $90, $120. So definitely under 150. And so, but you could also look at some of the newer models. There's newer models, they have more megapixels. They have um, 
you know, good image stabilization, higher frame rates. And so anywhere in the Canon ELF series is definitely a great uh, arena to look for cheap cameras to start making YouTube videos, to start doing vlogs and things like that. And then lastly, I'll put a link uh, in the description to a video called the best cheapest cameras for YouTube. And so even talking about maybe you wanna spend more than that, you're watching this video and you're looking for affordable cameras, but maybe your budget's higher than that. That is a great video to check out for um, different DSLRs and point and shoot cameras that are all the best in their class for the best price. So I'll make sure to link that up. Question from Sakis and he asks, can you help me find a light softbox for my videos? I would always recommend the Limo Studio softbox kit. You know, you can get it on amazon.com for less than $80, super solid reviews. And the nice thing about a softbox kit is you get the box to add more light to it. So the reason I wouldn't recommend you necessarily get umbrellas or, or some other form of lighting is it's super affordable. And then you also though, when you put the, the bulbs that it comes with, you know, it comes with the actual soft box. And then there's the um, diffuser that's on the front as well. So it's also a very flattering form of lighting. The other lights that I would recommend are these Niwer 160 LED lights. You can get these for $30 or less on amazon.com USD. And they're super cool. They, um, they put off a lot of light. You actually do end up buying the batteries uh, separately and you can put them on light stands. And so um, they're the opposite of soft boxes in regards to size, right? Because uh, they can fit anywhere. I did a full video about these if you wanna look into these more. I'll link it up on the YouTube card and put it in the description be uh, below as well. But if you get some light stands, get the batteries and buy like two of these, then you've got a very cool light kit that it's not gonna be as flattering, right? Because a soft box is, is gonna look, it's a little softer, it's kind of the point, and it's got the bigger diffusion, uh, but you can still get incredible looking video out of these. I like them because they're great to travel with. They um, are very portable, they're very versatile. I use them for a lot of different things. Um, they fit anywhere, and so check those out as well. Question of the day, what are your best recommendations for cheap microphones, cheap lighting, and cheap cameras? I wanna hear from you and the rest of the Think Media TV in the comments section below. And if you wanna get your question on one of the next episodes of Think Media TV, post that in the comments section as well. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it goes a lot more in depth than this video did on video cameras, lighting, microphones for every budget level. And so you can check that out. I'll put a link to download that for free in the comments section and also on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Okay, this is the new look. Less glare, maybe. Did it work? And the best camera for under a hundred and <laughs> hint, <sighs> huh? Under. Ah. All right, next shot. Next lighting dynamics, vibes, dynamics, vibes, cut.